Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech and yet another gaming news video with myself, Marta. Today is the 23rd of April and I have some news for you concerning Darksiders, which has finally now been bought in the final THQ IP auction as well as a few other titles that remain on the table. So, who has bought this particular franchise, I hear you ask? Well, it's Nordic Games, who you may remember as they've published several games over the years, including a lot of the Painkiller games of recent years, like Painkiller. Redemption and so forth, as well as an indie game by the name of Rochard, which I believe we covered on this channel if I remember correctly. And yes, they picked up Darksiders Red Faction MX vs ATV for 4.9 million, and this particular deal also included the franchises Supreme Commander, Frontline, Stuntman, Juiced, Full Spectrum Warrior, Destroy All Humans, and more. And the owner and CEO of Nordic Games had this to say. First and foremost, we are very happy about this deal, which also turns over a new leaf for the entire Nordic Games group. In the long term, we either want to cooperate with the original creators or best possible developers in order to work on sequels or additional content for these titles. A very important a very important point, excuse me, for us is not to dash into several self-financed multi-million dollar projects right away, but rather continue our in-depth analysis of all titles and carefully selecting different financing models for developing new installments of acquired IPs. So yes, pretty much all of the items on the table for THQ have now been bought, so that is the final auction. Uh, most of the sold, the rest of the franchises and studios, excuse me, were, um, were sold off in January. But a lot of titles remained up for grabs, including Darksiders, which actually surprised me at the time because Darksiders is a pretty popular franchise, although number two didn't do as well as they had hoped and was not as well received as they probably would have preferred. I personally really liked it, it had its share of problems to be sure, but I thought it was a pretty good game with issues that, while brought the game down, did not stop it from being very, very good indeed. Now the US Bankruptcy Court does have to finalise the sale on May 13th, but they've pretty much got these franchises in their hands now, so hopefully we'll see them do something with it. and. Yeah, I mean, now that they've spent all this money, they're obviously planning to do something with these particular franchises, but what that's going to be, I don't know. I did a recent, I did a video quite a while ago now, actually, on how Darksiders 3 was never going to happen, and that might not be the case now that Nordic Games has bought the franchise, or perhaps we'll just see more DLC or f perhaps a free-to-play game. My curiosity was piqued by his use of the word different financing models. That means that we could be seeing some free-to-play versions of those franchises that they've bought. Uh, so maybe we won't see like a full price AAA release of Darksiders 3, but you know, it remains to be seen. The future has, well, only the future will tell, only time will tell, as they say. So I definitely want to see Darksiders come back in some form. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled and see what, if anything, Darks, um, Nordic Games do with that particular IP. And just to let you know as well, 505 Games have bought Drawn to Life and Gearbox actually picked up the rights to the Homeworld series. So as everything of THQ is bought off and the bids are expecting to bring in 6 to $7 million. So they've... They brought in quite a bit of money with the sales, but obviously Nord, um, THQ are done for, and the only trace of them we're going to see is the mark that they left on the games that they have sold, which is a real shame, and my thoughts do go out to them, but still, now that these games have found new homes, hopefully we can see new and interesting ideas come forth for all the franchises. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.